Hi students! Today you're going to learn a lot of interesting ways to say yes in English. But wait, why should you learn these expressions when you could just say yes and keep things simple? Well, there are two good reasons. One is so that you can understand native English speakers because we use these expressions all the time. And if you only know the word yes, then you might be confused when you hear someone say why not or be my guest. And another good reason to learn these is so that you can use them yourself to express your own yes answers in different and creative ways. Some of these expressions actually add additional meaning beyond a simple yes, so it's important to learn the context and types of situations where you can use them. One great way to learn phrases in context is to join my Everyday English Speaking courses, which will teach you phrases inside dialogues. The lessons in these courses are fun and very practical. You can click on the link in the video description to try some free samples. Okay, let's get started with these 20 ways to say yes. Instead of showing you a big list of words, I'm going to explain each one inside a little situation. Do you have a dog? Yeah. Yup. Yep. Yeah, yup, and yep simply mean yes with no additional meaning. These are all pretty informal, so you should generally avoid them in more professional situations like job interviews. Have you bought the tickets? Mm-hmm, uh-huh, mm-hmm, and uh-huh both mean yes. Sometimes people use these when they're distracted and not completely paying attention to the person asking the question. Are you going to the party? For sure. You bet. For sure and you bet both express enthusiasm. It's like saying definitely yes. These are both more informal expressions. Are you interested in working with our company? Definitely. Definitely is a more professional way to express an enthusiastic yes. Will you have this report done by Friday? Absolutely, or without a doubt. These express 100% certainty. You are guaranteeing that the answer is yes. These are also good to use in a professional situation. Can you give me a ride? Sure, no problem. I'd be happy to. We can use sure to mean yes when responding to a request for a favor, like can you give me a ride? Or in response to an offer, like do you want some ice cream? Sure. You can use sure in both formal and informal situations, again, in reply to favors and offers. But we don't use sure when replying to questions about facts, like do you have a dog or are you married? No problem and I'd be happy to are also common replies when you want to say yes to a favor. Can you put me in touch with the director of marketing? Of course or certainly. Of course and certainly are more formal or professional ways to agree to a request or favor. Want to join us for lunch? I'd love to. I'd love to is a way to give an enthusiastic yes specifically to an invitation. Someone invites you to a party or to a meal or to participate in an activity. I'd love to can be used in both formal and informal situations. Can I borrow your pen? Go ahead or be my guest. These phrases are used to say yes when someone asks for your permission to do something. For granting permission, we could also say sure. Should we order some pizza tonight? Why not? The expression why not means yes. More specifically, it means there's no good reason not to do this action, so let's do it. It's often used to reply to suggestions and ideas for future plans or possibilities. It's raining. Are you going to cancel the picnic this afternoon? I guess so. The phrase I guess so expresses a reluctant yes when you are saying yes but you don't really want to say yes or you are somewhat sad about the yes. 
Now you know 20 different ways to say yes in English in all sorts of different situations, formal and informal, replying to questions about facts, favors, and offers. To continue improving your spoken English and learning the phrases that native speakers use, come join my Everyday English Speaking courses by clicking on the link in the video description and signing up. You'll learn what to say when you're traveling, socializing, doing daily activities, and talking about all sorts of topics. In next week's video, I'll teach you 20 more ways to say no in English. So make sure to stay tuned for that lesson and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss it. Thanks for watching.